What's up GGD fam? In this video I'm going to just quickly talk to you about our new taster pack and also cover why we no longer offer the GGD Lite kit. Uh, to get our new taster pack all you have to do is pop onto our website and go to the very bottom and here you will see free drum samples. Uh, sign up, put in your email and you will be emailed the taster pack and you will also be signed up to our mailing list so you're going to get news on new releases and products and also any sales that we put on. So you don't want to be missing out on that. When you download it, you'll be greeted with this. Um, I'll read you the readme first because it goes a little bit into why we got rid of the GGD Lite kit and why we've replaced it with this. After hearing your feedback over the past few months, we have decided to change things up a bit. Say farewell to our light kit and please welcome our new sample taster pack. Because our libraries are fully licensed contact player instruments, we didn't feel the light kit was a great introduction to our products and we wanted to give users more time to try out our sounds. The sample taster pack includes WAV and TCI files for one kick, two toms and two snares, including an unreleased secret source snare that Nolly has used on a number of mixes. Although not a ton of samples, this new tester pack packs the punch and provides the foundation you'll need to build an excellent kit that without a doubt will sound great. So let's dive into what you get. Let's go into the WAV folder first. And as you can see, you get one, two, three, four, five different drums. These four are selected from our Modern and Massive library. It's the Gretsch Bell Brass 14 by 6.5 inch snare. And then the Q Drum Go kit, you get the Steel Kick, the Rack Tom, and Floor Tom 1. As said in the README, you also get Nolly's Secret Source Snare WAV files. Even if you've already got all of our libraries, it's worth getting in this taster pack because, as said in the README, you get these Secret Source Snare samples, which aren't in any other of our libraries. So you get even more lovely samples to play with. So if we dive into the Snare folder, as you can see, again selected from Modern and Massive, you get the overhead small diaphragm condenser samples, the room close, the room far, the room mono, the snare bottom and snare top. For snare and kick, you get eight velocity layers, each with five round robins. And for both the toms, you get seven velocity layers with five round robins. So the velocity layers are simply different velocities the drum is being hit at and we provide five round robins so that you get five unique and very subtly different hits so that if you were to do, say, a succession of 16th notes on a snare drum, it's not gonna sound like a machine gun. It's gonna sound like a real drummer hitting a snare drum with little variants in the hit and just enough to make it sound realistic. So let's then look at Nolly's Secret Source Snare. For this, you just get top and bottom and these sound really great. I'll just show you what this sounds like. Really fat and present, uh, but really rich as well. Nice variety of velocities. And you get the exact same setup with the uh, bottom snare mic. I'll just go through some of these and show you what they sound like as well. It's worth noting with the kick, you get um, the sub WAV files also. So this could be really good if you've got like a really thin sounding kick drum that you've recorded live and you want to reinforce it with some sub samples. You can then take these and load them into a sampler and off you go. Alternatively, if you've got slick trigger, we also provide the TCI files. So say you've recorded live drums and want to reinforce them or even just replace them with samples, you can use the TCI files in Trigger to do that. Alternatively, you could even run Trigger as a MIDI instrument and then trigger these samples with uh, MIDI, which is what I've gone and set up here. So I've got Trigger set up as a MIDI instrument in Logic. I've got the direct in and the sub triggering off the same MIDI note and I've programmed the MIDI here. Similarly with snare, So then you can just go and program it like it's its own library. As stated in the README, obviously this is completely unlimited in terms of how long you get to use them for. There's no time limits and you can use them in commercial or non-commercial, demoing, full, I don't know, 
orchestral movie score. Go nuts with them. Um, they are yours to use and abuse. So if you're thinking about becoming a GGD customer, but you aren't sure if you want to pull the trigger on one of our libraries yet, get this and mess around with the samples a bit, and I'm sure you'll find that these sound amazing. And they definitely are representative of all our three libraries that we have out at the moment. What you get with the libraries that you do not get with a taster pack is obviously you get lots more drums, a huge variety of cymbals, and also many more articulations, round robins, and velocity layers on each piece. So if you get this, really enjoy it, hop on over to our store, or our YouTube channel, and you can see all the different products and libraries we have available to buy. And if you've got this, you would have already signed up to our mail list, so keep an eye out on your email inbox for new product news or sales we have on. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. From everyone here at GGD, I hope you are well and having a great day, and we will see you next time.